Have you ever dreamt of what it would be like to be a billionaire? The cars, the mansion, the money, lacking no luxury the earth has to offer? We have all heard the phrase that you become what you think or you attract what you hold as your most dominant thoughts. These teachings are generally taught in religious institutions. I want to talk to you today about how your words become your reality. Spiritual groups. Gentle expectation of good things coming to you. And even accepted as truth by most self-help gurus and motivational speakers. My thinking and my feeling is changing an outcome in my life. I'm going to teach a seminar on mindset. I don't know where your mind is or where it's set. So why is it that after doing months of repetitive money affirmations, I am rich, and trying to focus on what you want, you are still poor? Why is it that the rich seems to be getting richer while the poor keeps getting poorer? What secret strategy do they possess that the poor doesn't? I want to teach you something that will open your eyes and totally change the way you think. This is the missing link and the differentiating factor between the rich and the poor. When you understand these principles, you will start to see major shifts in your financial situation. I am going to teach you how to think correctly and how to activate the billionaire mindset. You see, everything begins with your belief system. So what exactly is your belief system? Your belief system comes from the ideas that you have accepted as truth. Your ideas come from somewhere, could be from existing memories and impressions, or from things you have heard or learned from other people. When your ideas come together, it becomes a thought. A thought then becomes an ideology, which are ideas that you have come to believe. Your belief system comes from the ideas you were taught and you chose to accept as truth. This then leads to your philosophy. Your philosophy simply means your way of thinking or your mentality. So everything that passes through your belief system then becomes your mentality. And your attitude is a manifestation of your belief system. So you have probably bought positive thinking books or listened to countless recordings about positive thinking but you are still broke and can't seem to be making any progress in achieving your dreams. So why is it that positive thinking isn't working for you? Why is it that affirmations, no matter how many times you repeat it, is not working? The reason is because those books and audios don't deal with the fundamental level of our belief system. They don't deal with the conviction. They deal with the mechanics. You can say to yourself countless times, I am rich, I am rich, I am rich, and you are still broke because wealth is not a matter of works or an exercise you do. It's a mentality, a lifestyle, a culture. So you need to change your belief systems at the very core in order to change your mentality. So going back to the statement, you become what you think. The key factor to becoming what you think is believing what you think. Billionaires always seem to be getting richer because they hold firmly to what they believe and possess this mentality that they can achieve anything they set their mind to. This is their philosophy. And this is the problem with the poor. They try to induce belief or accept a general idea at the conscious level without addressing and working on the foundation of their belief system, which is stored in the subconscious mind as ideas. So no matter how much they try, there's no conviction. So when we say the word philosophy, what we are really talking about is your system of thinking. Nothing is as powerful as your philosophy because your philosophy is the source of your thoughts and ideas. Your thoughts control your world and you learn from your thoughts and believe your thoughts and therefore you become your thoughts. So in order to become your thoughts, you need to believe firmly in them. But the problem is we have already become programmed with a set of philosophy or a way of thinking that is extremely difficult to accept and believe new thoughts that does not line up with our current belief system or mentality. So for example, your current belief system says you are poor, and that is what you believe on a subconscious level. 
so no amount of affirmations can get you to believe that you are rich unless you change or adjust your belief system. And the only way to change your belief system is to address it from the root. Remember, we said your belief system comes from the ideas that you have accepted as truth. So in order to change your belief system, you need to accept and believe new ideas. There needs to be conviction. So the first thing you must do is start developing ideas and turn them into thoughts. So you see why saying, I am rich, is a very difficult statement to accept. Because your belief system recognizes it as not being truth. So no matter how many times you repeat it, there would be no conviction and therefore no change. If I told you if you were to jump from this 20-story building, you would float, would you believe me? Would saying I would float a million times cause you to believe you would? Obviously not, right? You see, our belief system would reject that idea because it believes the opposite would happen. We would fall to the ground because the idea of gravity forms part of our belief system. So the idea of floating if we jumped off a 20-story building is not consistent with our beliefs. So now the question remains, how exactly can we change our beliefs and adopt a billionaire mindset? One of the most powerful ways to accept ideas is finding angles that are consistent with our current beliefs and forming it into a thought. For example, you want to accept the statement that you are rich, but it's difficult to accept it as truth because in reality, you are broke. And in your current situation, there is no possible way you can become rich. But if you were to say, I am a really good writer and I can write a book. I can write a book and sell a certain number of copies and then I can use that money and invest in a food business. Then use some of the money to invest in stocks which would grow and make me rich. Then you start to form the idea that if you can achieve this, you would be rich. So now it's easier to accept the statement, I am rich because you have developed a set of ideas and thoughts that led to that statement, which is much easier for your belief system to accept as truth. So you start to form ideas which are consistent with your current beliefs and easier to accept as truth. For example, you believe you are a good writer and you believe you can write a book. So you use this as the basis to start building up to accept the statement of I am rich. So then when you do affirmations, the statement of I am rich is not a mechanical one, but one based on ideas and thoughts that you believe are possible. So it's much easier to convince your subconscious mind because it's manipulating your current belief system to accept a general idea by feeding it smaller ideas that hold it as truth. So once you start practicing this, your belief system would change. You would now start to accept the idea that you are rich and you can do anything you put your mind to. Anytime there is opposition or you find it difficult to find conviction in an idea, you need to develop or draw on ideas that your current belief system holds as truth that would allow you to accept the general ideas as truth. Once you do this, your life would change. You would start seeing success in all areas of your life. Your finances would change. Your relationships would change how you view yourself would change. A lot of people hold negative perceptions about themselves because they accepted a thought or what someone else said about them into their belief system. They accepted that they are a failure, that they would never succeed in life, nothing good can come from them, no one likes them, they would never be successful. They started believing these ideas and built it into their belief system. So no matter how hard they try to reprogram their mind to dislodge those false beliefs, they are unable to because they are forcing themselves to believe an idea from a mechanical standpoint rather than building up the idea in strong convictions. You can become a great singer or increase any skill by practicing daily. Mechanical repetitions is the key to increasing skill. But even if you develop your ability to sing really well from years of practice, you can still believe in your mind that you are not a great singer. So you see the importance of thinking correctly. You have no idea what you can accomplish if you just start thinking correctly. You can achieve anything you put your mind to. You are rich, you are successful, you are more than a conqueror. Once you start applying these principles to change your belief system, then your life will truly change.